Hello and welcome. Today's class is going to be more of a gentle vinyasa. So we'll hold the postures for a little bit longer, move a little bit slower, a really great way to just ease into a practice. And it's really nice when you are tired and like with it getting cold outside, I know I'm not the only one that's probably having a lack of motivation. <laughs> this is a nice way if you like aren't full, feeling fully up to a full movement, it's a nice way to still get yoga in, but the, um, take it easy on your body. The entire class will be done seated, whether you are on the ground like I am, on a couch, in a chair, wherever it is that you find yourself, wherever it feels most comfortable and most supportive for you. Find a nice comfortable seat wherever you are. If you are comfortable closing your eyes, I invite you to do so. If you'd rather keep them open, you can softly gaze at a single point of focus in front of you. Place your hands, palms facing down on top of your legs. Allow yourself to settle into your space. Take a nice, long, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Allowing your mind and body to become completely still. Take a few moments to just arrive here, to let go of anything outside of your practice, any worries, any to-do lists, anything that does not serve you right now. This time is for you. Everything else, it can wait. And I know that that is a lot easier said than done, so just do your best. If during our practice, any thoughts pop up, just let them go and return back to my voice and your movement and your breath. Take a nice deep breath in and filling up, up your lungs all the way. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Allow your breath to flow naturally in and out through your nose. If your eyes are closed, you can open them back up. Begin to bring movement back into your body by wiggling your fingers, your toes, maybe rolling out your wrists. And then when you're ready, place your hands, palms facing down on top of your knees. We're gonna go through a couple of cat cows. So inhale, pull your chest forward, lift your chin up, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow, come forward. Exhale, cat, round. Few more times. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to center, shoulder stack above hips, head above shoulders. And on your exhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Shrug both shoulders down your back. As you like gravity, just pull your head towards your shoulder. Keeping your nose pointing forward, not turning your head down or up. If you would like to take it one step farther, you can extend that left arm out, increasing the stretch along the left side of your neck and getting into the top of your left shoulder. If 
few more nice deep breaths here. Take a nice deep breath in. And on your exhale, roll your head, chin to chest. Inhale, lift your head back up. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, both shoulders down. Letting gravity pull that ear towards your shoulder, nose stays pointing forward. If you'd like to take it one step farther, you can extend that right arm out, increasing that stretch along the right side of your neck into the top of your shoulder. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, let go of any unnecessary holding. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Keep your chin here and just let your head hang heavy. Maybe rock it from side to side, nice and slow. Getting a nice stretch along the back of your neck, releasing any tension or tight spots that might be there. To add weight to the stretch, you can interlace your fingers behind your head as you pull, just making sure you're keeping your spine as straight as you can and not rounding with the stretch. The straighter your spine is as you do this, the more of a stretch you'll get in your neck. Take one more breath here. On your inhale, lift your head back up. Lift your arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. You can either have your arms straight up or you can have those elbows bent, fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, side bend to the right, place that right hand down on the ground, on an armrest, on the couch, wherever it is for you. And then lift that right arm up and over, either keeping the elbow bent or having that straight arm reaching over. Finding the variation that works for you and your body today, whatever feels best. If you have your arm straight out, make sure that your palm is facing down. Finding internal rotation in your shoulder as you reach up and over. Keep both hips planted down. Don't let that left hip lift up. Continuing to take nice, deep, even breaths. Inhale, come back up to center, your variation. Exhale, side bend to the left, left hand down, right arm up and over, either that straight arm or that bent elbow. Allowing your breath to keep you in place. Sending your breath to anywhere that you may feel tension or tightness, imagining it dissolving with each inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, twist to the right. 
Place your left hand on top of your right knee, right arm behind you, gentle twist, looking to the right. Keep your hips facing forward as you twist, twisting from your torso. If you would like to take it one step farther, you can look over your right shoulder, keeping both shoulders down as you twist. When we do twists, we wanna make sure that we don't go too far to where our breathing is constricted. So if you begin to notice that you're not able to take as deep of a breath as you normally are, take it back a couple notches. Inhale, come back to center, your variation. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand on top of left knee, left arm behind you. Hips facing forward, twisting from your torso. If you'd like to take it one step farther on this side, you can turn your head over your left shoulder, bringing the twist into your neck. keeping your shoulders down your spine. And imagine if you're lifting the top of your head up towards the ceiling, finding length in your spine as you twist. Inhale, come back to center, your variation. And then on your exhale, place your hands back on top of your knees and just lean forward, only going so far as to where you start to feel a stretch and you are still supported. If you are in a chair and it feels good to place your hands on the ground in front of you, or if you're on the ground and it feels good to do so, please do so. Taking a few breaths in. Our version of a child's pose. Finding opening in your lower back and the backs of your legs. Couple more breaths here. Inhale, come on back up. Shoulders above hips, head above shoulders, placing your hands in your lap, facing your palms up. Take a breath here. And on your next breath in, come into mountain pose, your variation, whether your arms are straight up or elbows are bent. And on your exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Now, if you practice with intention, I invite you to just take a couple moments right now to think of whatever it is that brings you to class today, what brings you to yoga whatever your motivation is to show up. And just take a moment to think of it, to imagine it becoming reality. Allowing that your practice today serves you and it serves your intention.
We will flow through a couple of sun A's, but at a really slow pace with longer holds than what we normally do. So inhale, mountain pose, lift your arms up. Shrug your shoulders down your back. Keep your arms lifted. Imagine your fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling as if you could touch it. Your arms are strong, your spine as strong and as straight as you can get it. Exhale, fold forward, placing your hands on tops of your knees, lean forward, still supported. Inhale, halfway lift, lift your head, lengthen your spine. Imagine the crown of your head reaching forward towards the front of your room. This is where we find length in our spine. As we inhale, we imagine that we are getting bigger, that we're taking up the space we deserve. On your exhale, push back. Push your hands out in front of you as if you were pushing against a wall. Shoulders down and engaged, arms strong. Core engaged. Inhale, pull your chest forward, elbows back as if you're doing a push up. Lift your chest up, lift your chin slightly up. Exhale, push back, arm strong, core engaged. Inhale, mountain pose, arms up, your variation. Shoulders are shrugged down your back. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Lift your chest up towards your thumbs, elbows lifted. Imagine that you are returning to center, you're regrounding. We're gonna do that two more times, breath to movement, a little bit slower than we normally do. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, push back. Inhale, chest forward, elbows back, lift your chin. Exhale, push back, core engaged. Inhale, mountain pose, arms lifted. Exhale, hands heart center. One more time, imagine you're moving through honey, <laughs> that you're not able to move as quickly as you would, you would like to, being more mindful about your movements, your transitions. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, push back. Inhale, chest forward, elbows back. Exhale, push back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath here.
On your next inhale, lean forward, keeping your hands to heart center, engage your core. And on your exhale, twist to the right, either keeping the elbows lifted, twisting from your core. Option two is to bring the elbows down, maybe rest them on your legs. Putting a nice deep twist in your core, pressing your palms firmly together to help you stay lifted, keeping your chest up off of your legs. We're here for a few breaths. Notice any movement in your body as you're holding this posture. Maybe your fingers are moving around. Maybe your elbow keeps wobbling. Just notice it. Notice what your body does as you try to stay still. Keep your chest lifted, shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold, let go of the hands, lean forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come back to center, shoulders stacked above hips, head above shoulders. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lean forward, engage your core. Take a breath here. Exhale, twist to the left, either keeping those elbows lifted, twisting from your torso, keeping your hips facing forward. Or option two, bring that right elbow down on top of your leg. Press your palms firmly together to keep your chest lifted and open, pull your shoulders back. Feel the engagement in your core as you twist. Feel your shoulders turning on to keep your chest lifted. We're here for a few breaths. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, take up space. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, cactus out your arms, lifting your arms up, elbows in line with shoulders, wrist above elbows, creating a goal post cactus fixture. Pull your elbows back and your chest forward to come into a little bit of a back bend, opening up your heart space, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, keep your arms in the same position, but bring your forearms a touch, round your spine slightly. Hold. Inhale, open back up, elbows back, chest forward. A few more times, slow movement. Exhale, close your arms, round your spine. 
Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Two more times, exhale, close. Moving slow. Inhale, open. Feel your shoulders maybe beginning to turn on from lifting up your arms. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, arms back down. Let's get some stretch into our shoulders. Inhale, lift your right arm up and bring it across the left side of your body. And on your exhale, with your left hand, grab the right bicep. Allow your shoulders to sink down, not holding. If you want to take this one step farther, you can take that right palm, grab your back. Two more breaths here. Inhale, let that go. Switch out the arms. Bring the left arm across. Grab your bicep with your right arm. And then as you exhale, pull it close. If you like to get one step farther, you can grab your back with that left hand. Relax your shoulders, let them sink. Notice if there's any difference on this side than the other. Maybe one side feels tighter and that's okay. Take one more breath here. And on your inhale, release that. Now, if you are seated in a chair, bring your legs out wide. Have your the soles of your feet still on the ground. Just open up your knees, coming into wide stance. If you are on the ground, come into a straddle pose, having your legs out wide flexed. Now on your inhale, lengthen up your spine, reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, just begin to lean forward, finding a nice stretch along the backs of your legs. If you are on a chair, keep your hands on top of your knees as you lean forward, making sure that you still feel supported as you lean. If it feels comfortable for you and it is safe to do so, you can place your hands on the ground in front of you as you fold forward. Making sure that in every movement, every hold that you feel safe and supported. If you are on the ground or in that straddle posture, make sure you keep your feet flat. To keep that stretch running up and down the length of your legs. Our hamstrings can hold a lot of tension. And it can cause a lot of pain within our legs and in our back. Tends to be the root cause for a lot of tension in our body. So taking a little bit of time to show them some love to help release that tension can make a lot of difference in not just our legs, but in the rest of our body.
Take a couple more breaths here before we move into one last twist. On your inhale, come back up, keep your legs where they are. And exhale, twist to the right, take that left hand, place it on the right knee. And now you can either keep the right hand behind you, or if you like to go a little bit farther, you can reach that right hand around, maybe place the back of your hand on your back, your low back, keeping your shoulders down as you twist. If you'd like to take it even farther, you can inch that right hand around, maybe grab your hip. Finding whatever variation works for you, whether that's finding the full bind, grabbing your hip, back of your hand on your low back, or the right hand on the ground or on the back of your chair or couch, wherever you find yourself. As always, if you would like to look over your back shoulder to bring the twist into your neck, I invite you to do so. Only doing so if it feels good for you. We never wanna feel any pain and any stretch. We never want our breathing to be constricted. So just be mindful of what your body's feeling. Few more breaths here. Inhale, come forward, move slowly, slower than you want to. And on your exhale, turn to face the left leg and just lean forward slightly. Not coming into a full, full, full forward fold. That was hard to say. <laughs> Finding a little bit of a counter stretch to that twist we just did. One more breath here. And on your next inhale, come back up, face center. And on your exhale, twist to the left, placing the right hand on top of your left knee. And level one, you can place that left hand behind you. Level two, you can place the back of your left hand on your low back. Level three, full bind, left hand grabs your right hip. Taking nice deep breaths. Knowing that it's okay if this side looks different than the other side. It's a variation that you're taking on this side is different. That's totally okay. Do whatever feels best for your body in this moment, knowing that it can change from day to day, and that's okay. A few more breaths here. On your next inhale, come back to center. Moving slower than you want to. Keep turning to where you face your right leg again. And on your exhale, slightly lean forward over that right leg, not coming into a full forward fold, just a slight, slight lean. Finding a nice little counter stretch to that twist. This is our last posture before our Shavasana.
One more breath here. Now on your next inhale, come back up to center. Come back to your easy seat, whether that is sitting cross-legged on the ground, having your legs back together in your chair or on the couch, wherever you feel the most comfortable and supportive, whatever comes most easiest and natural to you. Sit up as straight as possible. Place your hands on tops of your knees, palms facing up. Close your eyes if you are comfortable doing so. If you would rather keep them open, you can softly gaze at a single point of focus in front of you. Allow yourself to settle into your Shavasana, our final resting posture, the place that we come to at the end of our practice to let the benefits of our class soak in. It's where we let our mind and body become completely still after movement. On those days where we feel the most resistance to showing up on our mat or whatever practice it is that we do to keep ourselves healthy, those are the days that we need it the most. And so even if you just show up for a few minutes, you just show up to do a few postures and slow movements and gentle yoga, you are still doing something for yourself. And that is amazing. That little bit will go a long way, especially on those days that we don't feel like doing anything. As always, this space is yours for as long as you need it. Thank you for showing up today and for taking the time for yourself. The light in me sees and respects the light in you. Ahe. Namaste.